Welcome back everybody and happy Thursday. Today we're going to be talking about equivalent fractions again, but we're going to be focusing on number lines. Sophie draws lines to show that two-fourths and one-half are equivalent fractions. She knows the fractions are equivalent because they're at the same point on the number line. So when I come to Sophie's example, one-fourth, two-fourths, I can see it lines up exactly with one half. I can always take my finger to the page and just draw my finger down to one half. Two fourths and one half are equivalent to each other. Let's take a look at Sophie's other number line. Mason joins in in the fraction fun. He draws number lines to show that two thirds and four sixths are equivalent. Let's take a look. One third, two thirds. Here's his first example. One six, two six, three six, four six. Here's his second fraction. When I draw my cursor down, I can see that two thirds and four six are in the exact same spot. That means two thirds and four six are equivalent. Let's try using our own number line to figure out what fractions are equivalent. Miss Belote wants to know how many eighths are equivalent to one fourth and one half. Help her partition the number line to find equivalent fractions. Before we begin partitioning, let's start by labeling our number line. One, two, three, four, five, Right now, I have four equal sized spaces on my number line, which means this must be zero fourths, one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, four fourths, or one whole. Now that I can see the fourths, I'm also going to stop and try to find one half on this number line. Well, when I move to about halfway through the number line, I can see that one half lines up with two fourths. So one half and two fourths must be equivalent. One half, two fourths. Now we need to figure out how to show eighths on this number line. Luckily, as you might remember, when I partition a fourth in half, I get eighths. So I can cut or partition each of these pieces in half to then get eight equal size pieces. Now we can start numbering the labeling, I'm sorry, labeling the number line with eights. Zero eights, one eighth, two eighths, three eighths. This would also be, I'm running out of room, four eighths, five eighths, six eighths. Notice that I'm not skipping any of our hash marks, seven eighths, eight eighths, or as we know, one whole. I'm going to find one fourth on the number line and circle any fractions that are with it. One fourth is the same or equivalent to two eighths, or two eighths is equal to one fourth. Now I'm going to find one half and see what, how many eighths are equivalent to half. I had several fractions equal to one half here. One half is equivalent or equal to four eighths on my number line. I can also tell that four eighths must also be equal to two fourths because two fourths is also equal to one half. They're all equivalent to each other. Let's give this one more try before moving on to our independent practice. Using the number lines shown, what is the equivalent fraction to 6 eighths? So just like before, I'm going to start by labeling my fraction. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So I have eighths on this number line. 1 eighth, 2 eighths, 3 eighths, four-eighths, five-eighths, six-eighths, seven-eighths, and eight-eighths, or one whole. Now let's check the bottom. One, two, three, four. Four equal size pieces. So 
one fourth. Whoa. One fourth, two fourths, three fourths, four fourths, or one whole. I want to know what's equivalent to six eighths. So I'm going to come to six eighths and I'm going to draw down. I notice that six eighths lines up with three fourths. So six eighths must be equivalent or equal to three fourths. Do you notice any other fractions that are equivalent on the number lines? I hope you noticed two eighths and one fourth are equivalent. Four eighths and two fourths are equivalent. And of course, eight eighths and four fourths are equivalent on this number line as well. In your practice problems, you'll be given several different number lines to practice finding equivalent fractions on. Good luck, do your best, and I will see you bright and early tomorrow morning.